Hi everybody, my name is Christina Jackson from Five Dollar Jewelry by Christina and today I am going to show you four different ways to um, have the perfect stack of bracelets. Let's accent that thinnest part of your body, draw attention to that thin part of your body, um, especially if you want to highlight or take away from um, other parts, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody popping on. So let's talk about stacking. Okay. The first tip, all right, is going to be picking things with a similar style. Okay. So the first thing you can do is pick some bracelets with a similar style. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. Here we have two bracelets that are more of, I would say, an urban or a casual kind of look. We have our thin little crackle brownstone. And then I have a fun little urban. I throw that crackle stone in between the urban and look at how cute that is. Isn't that darling? The colors don't necessarily have to match. We'll talk about that in a minute, but look at how fun that is. All right, next one, let's do a little bling here. Okay, so I have a red rhinestone with a silver and just a little bit of bling. Okay, so similar style, right? We have rhinestone and bling. Okay, the next, again, looking at a uh, similar style. Is actually going to be like this one. Good morning, Miss April. And you're going to see um, some of our other principles in each one of these. Isn't that fun? I love that bracelet. Okay, so tip number one, similar styles. Whether it be blingy, urban, whatever, take some that are the sim uh, similar style, put them together, and it will look so cute. All right? Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. All right, so tip number one for accenting that thin part of your body, similar style. Okay, number two, different sizes. Watch this. Watch this one. All right, so here we have a fantastic wrap. Look at how cute that is. Okay, you have a little bit, this bracelet is a little bit thicker. Here we have a thin purple, and then look at your, um, your stretchy bracelet on the bottom. How cute is this, right? So we have some empty space here, some empty space here, a nice chunky piece in the middle, different sizes, okay, right here. All right, another super fun one love this one too you have a nice chunky i call this a um a belt and then you have so that's nice and chunky and then i partnered it with that really fun thinner silver hinge i just kind of slide that one behind so you see a little bling poking out add a little bit of detail to that but different sizes right Okay, then with our wrap, this one is super fun because you could throw even more detail into this. There we go. Helps if it's turned around the right way by putting in extra detail in between each one, but look at how fun that is. So you have that nice, thick, chunky wrap and then that fun little heart bracelet. Isn't that cute? Okay, keep going with this one. Okay, so here we have kind of a thick urban. And then I just threw a little bling on there because you got to throw some bling in there. And then look at that fun, inspirational top bracelet. How cute is that? Okay, so tip number two, different sizes, all right? Then we have tip number three, put in a color. Use an accent color. Let me show you some fun ones for that one. 
accent colors. Ready? Here I have a beautiful blue. See that really pretty rhinestone with that beautiful blue. As the accent. Here I kind of reversed it. And I have a purple stretch with some rhinestone. So the rhinestone is actually your accent color. Okay, then we have a white stretchy with a really pretty moonstone. So this has that light purple as your accent, like that. Okay, and then last example is gonna be something like this. So we have a stretchy moonstone. We have a two uh, layer chunky moonstone and then we have those tie dye pieces down here. Is that cute? So again, you have all neutral except for just a little pop of color. Okay, so that's number three, add a color. All right, and then our last example, our last way to really have an awesome layer is mix those metals. Yes, my girls, mix your metals. Let me show you what I mean. Here we have gold, and then I threw in some silver. You can see this also does have a pop of color as well, right? Okay, then we have gold with a little silver. Is that fun? Okay, and then last, so you can mix metals, but also you can mix textures. Here we're gonna have a bead along with a wood. Isn't that fun? Look at those three bracelets, how cute is that? So by, accent, by accenting your thinnest um, part of your body, you're actually drawing attention here to the, your wrist, okay? Because again, think about your zones. We talked about that a couple weeks ago, right? Don't forget your thinnest part. When you're talking with your hands or whatever, it's gonna be accented, right? People are gonna be drawn to it, they're gonna see it. All right, so go ahead and create a fun little wrap using one of those four tips, either choosing things with similar style, finding things with different sizes, adding that pop of color, or mixing your metals or textures like this one. All right, have some fun. That's what it's all about. And get accessorizing to create that awesome arm candy. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.